everyone my name is ayushi jain and in our today's session we are going to talk about how we can import csv or sample sql files in our mysql if you want to become a successful data analyst and want to join wsqube tech's premium data analytics mentorship program then the applications for our second cohort is open This mentorship program will be led by top industry mentors from Amazon, Rapido, KPMG and Microsoft along with WS Cube Tech. Here we will be covering more than 20 projects in the entire course will also provide you placement assistance in this program. So if you want to be the part of this cohort then link to apply for the cohort is provided in our description. So apply now. And now let's get started guys. Guys, how we can import this file in SQL? Let's have a look on that. First of all let's talk about that how we can import an sql file to import an sql file i'm showing you one sql file over here which is on my github and the link of this file is provided in our videos description so if i if you open this file over here if you open this link which is provided in our description you'll be able to see this kind of a file here all you need to do is click on this download raw file once you click on this download raw file click on save as well Once you click on save come back to your MySQL in your MySQL go to server in the server you will find data import click on data import right right now you can see that on the left hand side we only have three databases now once you click on data import there are two kinds of data which you can import so here go for the second one that import from self contained file in this choose the location of the database that you have just downloaded click on this click on open once you click on open click on start import at the bottom you'll find it start import and if it is not visible go to import progress here you'll find start import so click on start import and once you're done you can see the file has been uploaded over here click on refresh on the left hand side once you refresh you'll get the data of the classic models uh, open it open the table and you'll see you'll have the customers employees offices all the details orders payments product lines and products data as well If I open any of the files, this is how my file looks like. Similarly, if I want to open a CSV file, see, importing an SQL file is very easy. All your data has been imported from that file. If I talk about importing a CSV file, to import a CSV file, first we need a database over here. So, need to create a database. To create a database in a query, right? Create database demo. And now, if I run this, and if I refresh here. you will see that a demo database will be created but once i open it there is no table over here to import any of the file over here right click here and you will see you can uh, you can see over here we have a table data import wizard click on this go to browse in the browse section you if you have any of the data you can just click on it for example let's say if i open this pizza place sales Here we have files. If I open this orders or pizza types, let's say if I want to open pizzas, okay, click on open, click on next, click on uh, create a new table called as pizzas. Yes, click on next again. We can see that all the data data is in text, 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 and one of them is in float, uh, also known as double in our database language. So click on next again, click on next again. Wait for a few seconds, and your data is being imported. all your 96 records are imported over here so if i refresh this again and open it here so you can see that we have pizzas file over here now this generally does not happen in the industry you do not import csv files or excel files over here in the sql from here from sql our data goes to csv or excel sx files but it does not happen the other way around but even for the practice if you want to do it this is the way to do it if we have now this is one way of doing it because we only had like 96 rows over here but what if we have plenty of rows in that case scenario this method would not work directly in that case you will have to create a table by yourself to create a table over here so suppose if i try to import the other kind of uh, other table which had like more data so let's browse this and if i'll go for order details i know that in order details i have like plenty of data or even in the orders as well i have 21000 rows if i open this click on next again you can see that my date is coming in text and also my time is coming in text and i can convert it to date time and i can also convert it to only date time here so now if i click on next again and we click on next again 
you will see it has been executed click on next and it says that zero records are imported that means the table is created but none of the records are imported because we had a huge amount of data here so what we need to do in this case scenario i'll just uh, delete this one i'll drop this table orders so let's drop it now and i'll create a table myself for this so i had three uh, columns over here order id the second one was date and the other one was time okay so i'll create a table on my own to create a table we need to write this query that create table let's give it the name of orders okay and close uh, open close the parentheses here first thing we need is the order id which should not be null and the order id is the integer okay the second one over here would be our date so order date let's call it order date which could which is going to be a date and it should not be a null so when i'm defining integer or date these are basically the data types that i'm defining and then we also have order time which for which i'm taking time and i'm writing not null over here put a comma and let's define order id as the primary key so our primary key basically would be our order id let's close it let's press run and let's refresh it we do not have the table orders why because we have not selected the database to select the database double tap on demo okay so i'll run it once again and if i refresh it here we now have orders table if i open it we have the table we do not have the data but we have the table we have the headers basically so now right click on it again and click on uh, data import wizard table data import wizard and we are going for the very same file click on next and we are using the existing table this time which is our orders table click on next again and in here we have order id date and date time okay that these columns will go in these destination column okay click on next click on next again this time now it will take a while to import the data but your all your data of 21000 rows will be imported over here so now once it is done click on next again and you can see all the 21350 records have been imported and this is how you can import a csv file with a lot of data over here in mysql and if i refresh it once again or even if i recall the query all my data has been imported over here but remember this this doesn't happen in the industry you do not import the csv files into the database but even if you want to to practice something this is the way to do it i hope it is pretty much clear that how we can import sql files or csv files in our mysql in our upcoming sessions we are going to talk about more such videos so stay tuned guys and for more such videos follow our channel wsq tech thank you